So here we are, we got the fuel bottle sitting outside the, the, uh, the uh, I'm calling this an earth burner, or earth cooker. Because <laughs> there already is something called an earth stove. But anyway, so that goes into there. That's fueling the stove. I can actually, I can actually watch the level of the alcohol in the clear tubing and I can hit that thing and I can I kind of get an idea how often I need to fuel it without ever actually even looking at the stove but but so there's the concept of if you had to you could cook for a long time uh, with this stove um, in the wind and you could have you could have a probably about any kind of wind you'd care to care to name and you'd be okay All right, so you can see the flames going just fine, burning well. Now you just saw that little hiccup there, and that's the the, uh, the burner is drawing more fuel. If I press the button, I'm shoving more fuel down the line, and that fuels the stove. There we go. Now you notice, did you notice that pop that just happened? The reason why is because I'm burning, I just, I just uh, injected cold fuel into that stove which cooled it down a little bit. So it took a few seconds for the stove to reheat back up. And you heard that pop when it, when it, uh, when it heated up enough to where it's you know, running properly out of the little orifices in the, the orifice holes around the rim of the stove. So there, so there you go, right there. And you can, uh, I think you can probably see the fuel in the hose. And you can hear it. You can hear it drawing fuel. So anyway, by this method right here, a person could conceivably cook for hours and hours and hours on end without ever having to retrieve the uh, the burner from underneath there. I've been messing around this, watching this stuff for hours, so I've kind of been through the ringer on it a little bit. <laughs> but I, it's fun. It's what I do with my spare time, I guess. <laughs>